So the, the, the mandate of the IMT 2020 focus group was to look at gaps in the standardization process related to uh, 5G, which is IMT 2020. Um, we had uh, a series of face-to-face uh, -face meetings over six months, starting in May, um, and we broke the problem up into multiple areas. Uh, we broke it up into uh, softwareization and slicing. We broke it up into emerging networking technologies, end-to-end -end QoS, and a number of other uh, different, uh, different subject areas. Um, each of the groups ran in parallel. Um, and what happened was that the, the groups produced individually uh, a set of gaps uh, for areas that are missing uh, currently that uh, would need additional standardization to meet the requirements of 5G. Uh, that uh, set of gaps was put together into one larger document uh, and was just recently, uh, actually just last uh, the other day, uh, delivered to study group study group 13 where they will then take many of those and uh, work towards uh, standardizing those so that was our mandate and uh, we met our first mandate uh, just uh, in the last last few days uh, softwareization is impacting the ICT industry from top to bottom uh, softwareization is essentially the ability to use programming or the ability to automate how things how things operate and the ICT industry for many many years involved a lot of hand configuration and so forth uh, which is expensive and error prone um, and with the introduction of large data centers in the last uh, 15 or 20 years it just became impossible for people to manually configure hundreds and hundreds of computers or even thousands of computers and so an automation mechanism, a softwareization mechanism was introduced and programming of the uh, configuration of all of these large uh, uh, servers and, and, and so forth in data centers was introduced. And of course, uh, companies like Google and, and, and others really revolutionized this. Well, now what's happening is that, that ability to automate is making its way into the ICT industry, into the telecoms industry. So I don't think we can underestimate the, the impact of softwareization. And in fact, softwareization is probably, apart from the radio side of, of 5G, which is of course uh, uh, critical to 5G, softwareization is one of the most significant aspects of 5G. So we can't underestimate it. I think it's going to have a huge impact. And that's, in fact, why it was one of the uh, uh, major focus areas of the focus group. Currently, what's happening is that the telecoms industries are actually pushing for more softwareization. Uh, so they will welcome uh, more and applicable softwareization uh, as, long as, it, as long as it solves their problems. Um, the telecoms industry actually were very influential with uh, a group uh, referred to as uh, NFV, Network Function Virtualization, which was done through the uh, ETSI uh, standardization body. Uh, and this was actually um, triggered by the service providers uh, requesting uh, more softwareization and an ability to use more uh, uh, um, general purpose hardware. Uh, and so I think that, that we will continue that trend. Um, 5G will be uh, very uh, influenced by the trend and depend on the trend. So I'm, I'm pretty certain we will have uh, an additional impact to that, although it's, it's, a, it's a trend uh, already uh, well started. So we're, 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 we're going along with that flow and, and helping the flow to move. So we've just been uh, issued a new mandate, and our mandate now runs until the, the end of next year, so the end of uh, 2016. Um, and we have narrowed down our focus because we've, we've looked at five or six different areas, and some of those areas we're going to look at in, in more detail. Softwareization, as I mentioned before, is one of those areas that we're going to be looking at in more detail. Um, I'm also excited to say that our um, terms of reference include the ability to look at the open source community and to um, work with the open source community for ways that we can um, uh, influence the open source community and take advantage of their work. So that is one area where we, we, we expect to, to have some impact uh, next year. 
Um, we will have probably four or five face-to-face -face meetings this year on uh, five or six uh, of the same subjects, but in, in, in more depth, um, including uh, ICN, information-centric networking. There should be uh, some very interesting new work in that area. Um, front hall, back hall control, um, and, and orchestration control of, of slicing. So this is the sort of work that will be going on uh, over the next uh, um, well year in, through four or five meetings and uh, multiple uh, teleconference and uh, so forth uh, calls. Well, it's very easy because uh, one of the nice things about the focus group is we're very informal. Um, there's no requirement for you to be a member of any particular organization if you're just in the, in the extreme case, if you're an interested individual with some ideas that you wish us to consider, it's as simple as uh, uh, registering for the, uh, the email um, uh, exploder, uh, sending a few e emails to, to try to find people with similar ideas. Uh, the meetings will be uh, open and anyone is welcome to join. So it's, it's, it's very easy. It's really a question of A, having some ideas uh, about what you would like to see done with 5G. B, being able to convince people through uh, an effective uh, presentation or uh, contribution, and C, being able to work with, uh, with others. But there's no requirement to be a member of any particular organization, and, and we welcome everybody that has an important uh, uh, useful uh, ideas in the subject area. And, and that actually makes it very interesting, too, uh, not just to have people from uh, specific organizations, but to, to have people coming in a little bit from left field with some, some new and interesting ideas. Because 5G is a very different beast, so we need, we need people with, with new ideas to, to bring them to us. And I certainly welcome everybody that, that thinks they have something to contribute to please join the mailing list and um, join the debate.